In this video, I want to share with you the dashboarding module in Reconciler. And I'll do this by showing you some different configurations of the analysis screens, uh, going into a dashboard and configuring that so that you can edit, move or share that dashboard with, uh, with other users of Reconciler. So what I have here is a uh, one of the analysis screens and you can see that I've opened up the stockpile analysis screen and I'm looking at a, a particular configuration uh, called COS activity and I've just selected this uh, configuration from the list of um, available saved configurations from my list. Uh, I've also opened up just a few other windows just to make this a bit quicker of uh, some other configurations and we're looking at the same style of saved configuration, just in another analysis module. So in this case, we're looking at the material movement screen and I've loaded up the daily haulage versus plan configuration, again, directly from my saved configuration list. And uh, just one more, trends. So we've got a, the trends screen with the, uh, the configuration demo stockpiling from the list. Now I could have loaded up any of these uh, and it's as simple as just clicking on the configuration and it will load that configuration uh, from, uh, from the saved filters. We can see here now I've got survey versus haulage. So I just wanted to show you the, 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 the fact that you can uh, load a configuration directly from these configuration screens or you can have some pre-configured dashboards. And now I've just gone into this dashboarding module and there is only the one uh, the one page on this module. But what we can see here is I've got some pre-configured uh, dashboards. Now they work exactly the same way as the saved configuration. So if I was to click on any of these dashboard names, I would get a, a, a dashboard loading with that, um, with the saved configurations. Now, the way that I've configured this dashboard is, if I click onto this configure display, is to load any of those saved uh, configurations from the previous, those analysis screens. I can choose from any of those boxes. And in fact, let's just choose that, uh, that last one, that trends. And we can see we'll bring in the, um, the trends survey versus haulage. And I'll load that up. I'll apply that and you'll see that we've got the stockpile analysis, um, the, uh, the material movements and now the trends configurations showing on this dashboard. The way the dashboards work are through the period filter and the location filter. So you could configure a particular dashboard to show a period filter with a quick link. So perhaps you want it to be looking at daily production for yesterday, you could have this saved as a yesterday quick link and save this dashboard and every time you come into this dashboard, you will see yesterday's data. It's as simple as that. So what I've done now is I've got this trends analysis and if I scroll down, you'll see that it's just added it in as uh, number four and I've then got the ability to move this around. So I do have full rights to design the dashboard. I don't have to have it here and I certainly um, I can move it around and let's just move it up to somewhere over above. I can make it bigger and smaller and it is just a case of playing around with it. Now what I can also do is click on the little uh, edit button on the corner, the bottom left hand corner and I can be taken into that trend screen and that actual configuration loaded and it will remember the date period that you have up. So if I had yesterday as my quick link in the dashboard, it would then take me to uh, load this configuration up with yesterday as my quick link in the period filter. So lots you can do with dashboards. Uh, and if I just go back to that previous page, you'll start to notice that I am moving around with the back button. I've got multiple uh, browser tabs open so you can have multiple screens open for Reconciler. 
And just finally, I wanted to show you how you can send a copy of a, of a configuration link to somebody that has been set up within Reconciler. So they must be a user within Reconciler. And uh, it is simple as just going to the analysis screen that you're interested in and see you've got this little copy link uh, hyper, hyperlink there. So if I click on copy and open up uh, a new tab or an email or a um, I don't know a message just to be able to send that link to somebody uh, you'll see that I'm now opening up the dashboard with the default which is the copy that uh, that I that I did on the previous dashboard you will also notice just before I go that I've got multiple browser tabs open and you can certainly do that. There is no limitation to the number that you can have open and sometimes that makes it more convenient to be comparing different screens and um, and other times it's you, you won't need to have multiple open but the option is there. Same with this back button. The back button will work multiple times so if I was to go back here I would be taken um, back to my Google because I haven't moved around but let's go to another screen and let's just find a back button we'll see here we've got a back button here so I was on the material movement screen here it will remember exactly what I was on um, before that screen and it's taken me down to this pivot view analysis screen so there's a few different options there for how you navigate through the the system you can use the menus direct or if you're swapping between two um, screens you can just press backwards and forwards there if you would like to learn any more about dashboards or have a look at the other analysis screens in a little more detail, please don't hesitate to contact us and we'd be more than happy to uh, have a one-on-one -on -one demo with you and uh, discuss your needs and requirements and see whether Reconciler is the right fit for you. Thanks for your time today.